Gang, quick announcement on the Middle Class Famous Tour. We are going to be coming to a city near you for a live stand-up show and playing AYG with the audience. We're going to be in San Francisco, California, Los Angeles, California, La Jolla, California. And we'll also be in Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, then over there to Roseman. And that's just to May. We're going to be adding some dates. It's going to be a fantastic time. Grab the squad. Come out and see us. Get your tickets. It's a good time. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast, this is R U Garbage. Sure is. It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians and we find that if they grow up to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Right. I'm your host, Dave Trolley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here in Tootie's basement. She's upstairs, knocked out on the patio. Okay. Yeah, when I find this son of a bitch, <laughs> I got a little payback coming. Uh, someone went after her. Someone someone snuck her. She probably she probably has money on the street, that dumb broad. I don't know, but as a vendetta, we gotta we gotta fulfill. Yeah. Whose car know. we Taken. It's like five brothers, or what's it called? <laughs> Four brothers. They set her up. They set Tootie up. It's a great flick. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. Do me a favor. Give it up for Kevin. What's up, Ryan, everybody? <laughs> In his Bud Light jacket. Woo! This is vintage. This is this is old school. You look like you're triple parked outside and just busted a case of Corona. <laughs> Looking for somebody to sign for this. Uh, this guy finally gets some cash, starts dressing like a T-ball coach. <laughs> it's real Dicka vibes. Should have got a boy's head route, dickhead. I'm an Amoroso man myself. Uh, there's blood on the inside of this thing as we speak from its previous owners. Nice. <laughs> I'm big into vintage beer gear. Hold on. I thought you were buying these new. You're buying these are these are used. Yeah, man. The the Paps one was new. This is this is like yellow, t- like the tag. A couple of softball games have been coached in that. Thing. Oh yeah, a couple of real nail biters. A <laughs> couple of points been shaved too, I think. <laughs> you stole that thing off the set of Beverly Hills Cop too. Jesus, you stink! I'm living my best life. Let me be. That's all you have for us. <laughs> That's all I got. I, I mean, I'm going to take the beating. I'll just sit here and take it. You know what I mean? I've dished them out myself. You know. I'd be, I'd be, uh, I'm just going to sit back and take it. I'll, you know, do you. I'll take it. We love it. It looks fantastic. Um, guys, as always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe That's on what I was iTunes. looking for. I was about to pick it up for you. Oh, no. I thought I you meant. I was about to I, hit him with it. I, uh, to be honest, I thought there was going to be more fucking No, jokes. that's it. Lighthearted. We're having a nice time. You're a good <laughs> friend of ours. <laughs> Guys, uh, as you know, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Woo! Out at first. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Um, and then, uh, obviously... You smell like pine tar. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nail file. I'm shaving a ball. <laughs> Uh, He's got four more of these, folks, so <laughs> sit back, because they're going to keep coming. Four. Don't you? I got about nine of these in the Jesus closet. <laughs> you wait till that Michelob one gets broken out. Who are you, Pee Wee Herman? That what thing the... is sweet, dude. Trying to get a look This is going. my new personality, by the way. Um, and then, obviously, I would be... You're, 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 you're jamming up the plugs. I apologize. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the moneymaker, the thing that keeps you, you fat in your apartment out there. <laughs> Patreon.com slash RU Garbage. Uh, the greatest website of all time. You can sign up. You get bonus episodes AYG. Episodes of Hard Feelings. Yes. Which, by the way, we dropped a couple about a week or two ago. Yikes. They rattled some cages. Everything's all right. The boys are okay. Uh, guys, thanks for everything. We love yous. Love you both. And how about a quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, my best pal in the whole wide world. And I love him to death. Give it up for Mr. Toby McMullen, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, dudes? t Good to see you, sir. You too. I don't want to take up too much, too much time. Kimmy's got some kegs to deliver. So yeah. we got to get moving, dude. I'm, I'm double parked outside. <laughs> you look like you definitely wouldn't be checking IDs when you dropped it off. Checking IDs. Couple of house parties. Yeah. No you ever way. Have a, you ever have a keg delivered? No, we would go get the. We'd have you know a, an older. Uh, That's real old school shit when they would deliver. That it. was in the movies in Suckers. the seventies. Yeah, yeah, never. We never had that. Yeah, leave it out front. 
We would go pick up. Your cartoons inside. We would go pick up for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does anything move a keg better than a wood paneled station wagon? It's pretty good. We were we had the, my buddy's old suburban we called the Dank Tank, and uh, we would load them up in there. But we were a little pussy, so it took like six of us to get it in the back because it was all jacked up. There was only one kid that could ever tap it right, too. I was a pretty good tapper. I stunk at it. I, I was, was pretty, all foam. You had a hit quick, baby. I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get the science behind it. I didn't get what well, the you're not fucking, a science guy. I didn't get what the tap did or how it went in. Mm. I always thought it was weird shit. Yeah. Taps were like a commodity at one point. Under Got eight. the keg. I don't got a tap. Yeah. You ever got a tap? You're calling around. Tap. Yeah, then tap. You, you're Some dirtbag's trunk of his mom's car. Something's fucked up. And then you're calling like, Jimmy, Jimmy, you got your tap? What are you doing tonight? Come on over. You drink for, give you a free cup. That's how the beer stores would get you. Oh, you don't got a tap? Why don't you got a tap? I don't know, sir. Yeah. Because I'm 12. They were like 45 bucks or something, if I remember, which yeah. we didn't have back in the day. I meant when I was a kid, my parents, my dad made it seem like the return fees on those kegs were $8 million. With, with, with the urgency that he got the keg. I got to get the keg back. Yeah. I got to get the keg back. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. What was it, a nickel? Back when I was banging, they were 10 bucks a <laughs> clip. 10 bucks a clip, and you would return it. And we would you get the ten bucks back, and we would get a case of Lion's Head beer, which was a local. That's PA. operating capital, right yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. Put that right back into the business. Uh, I like that. So, <laughs> if we had a party with like a couple of them beer nuts, if we had a party with like uh, you know, say Saturday night, we had three kegs or whatever. Three kegs. Yeah, we would we would throw bangers down there on Edgeley Street. Really, bangers. Sometimes it got a little. It was always I. Uh, Any I, ladies? Yeah, there was one there. <laughs> a real bruiser. Uh, Beat us in arm wrestling every time. <laughs> Longest keg stand still record. The record's still cooking down That's there. That's why you had the three kegs. <laughs> Big uh, Lucy would take two. <laughs> yeah. Just sitting in the corner with his drawl. Kevin, get over here. Make out with me. <laughs> Making you make out with her. Um, we would do it in the basement of a row home in North Philadelphia was the party. <laughs> I mean, we went to Temple. Nothing That's good a- happens in the basement. No, of- no. In a row home. I mean, sometimes fight fights would break out because like, people would bring friends and friends of friends of friends from friends from home in college were always the worst. They didn't know the etiquette. They never mixed. They never friends from home from college always got too fucked up. To the point where they like, become friends, but there would be a feud first. Well, yeah, after years, I fucking hated this dude when I first met him. Yeah, oh man, there's a lot of them. Oh, there yeah. was people that we fist fall that I ended up being like, this guy's all right. What's Willie <laughs> doing this weekend? You know? yeah. Every person who's ever met me thinks my laugh is fake. Yeah, well, oh, I've well, read the YouTube comments. <laughs> one of my, one of my, one of my boys was like, it was my one of my best friends. Now he's like, I didn't speak to you for five months because you have the most annoying laugh on planet Earth. Yeah. <laughs> but a friend from a friend from home would get too fucked up. Like, end up peeing in the sit. Like, he didn't know the rule. He just thought, because they were typically, like, community college or, like, went straight to work. The way I perceived it. So they didn't it, know protocol. Our of, friend- they, they would just be like, this is Animal House. And someone's like, this is my bedroom. Dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Fucking live here, man. Our friends from high school were more degenerates than the friends from college. Oh, what? You know, that old standing rule, college educated to a degree. Yeah. Yeah, that's where that's where the problem would lie. Yeah, I yeah, I mean, my Taking friends dumping somebody's dishwasher. Yeah, my friends would come rolling in with like a three foot nitrous tank and a stun gun. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lie. That was a party. Pussies better cancel class tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, because I'm staying for like three four days. Yeah, I got to get back to the fun. You know, yo, anybody looks at me sideways getting zapped. Yeah. <laughs> did you have anybody? And they did. Did you have anybody that went to college but didn't go to college? Do you have anybody? I that lived like, with yeah. So that stayed there. I so. My first, uh, my first house, the one I was talking about. My one boy from high school went to like nine different universities. Oh yeah, for like two years. They always crap out and then just live at one. Yeah, dude, just yeah, live yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my boy that you met down in Orlando. Yeah. The, you were like that guy is fucking movie good looking. Yeah. Oh man, he was a looker. That he kid. lived with. We lived with him. I, I grew up with him. He lived. We lived together in college. Me, him, and Flip, and another weirdo uh you know we needed one more guy to fill the bedroom and this guy was a creepola dude hey the ra sent me over <laughs> yeah he had real ra vibes hey lenny put your shit over there yeah he was always like you're, you sleeping, go? you're sleeping on the desk he would always be like yo want to go up to my room and take shots we're like no way dude <laughs> <laughs> your room has a deadbolt on it dude not fucking go you got an outdoor doorknob on that thing <laughs> not going into your fucking room 
You have bars on the windows on the inside? No, thanks. <laughs> so, uh, oh, sorry, whatever. Uh, my friend, <laughs> he crapped out, right? He, okay. he took a semester off after living there. That's the kiss of death. And he moved That's his- That's how to become a stripper right he there. He moved his boy in who didn't even <laughs> attempt to enroll in the university. Wait, he took his room? Yeah. He said, don't worry about the room. I got a guy. I got a guy. <laughs> Danny DeVito shows up. <laughs> <laughs> his boy moved in. And, who, and then uh, this is how insane the world was we were living in. Flip and my friend who were living there mm-hmm. shared a room together. So then Flip just had to share a room with this new guy. Like, so, like boot camp. And then he moved his girl in, and his girl, she, not moved her in, but she was just there a lot. And she what, was nice. We were hold friends on, with were her. they sleeping in the same room with Flip? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Ooh. A lot of squeaky squeaky going on there. I think Flip was fake sleeping a lot of times. <laughs> I heard that's how Flip got involved with the movies. <laughs> <laughs> he had night cam goggles, uh, night vision on. <laughs> Night vision in a gully suit in the corner. Um. So, yeah. So that I mean that was like that year. And then there was the, there was two guys or one guy that just recently had gotten out of prison. They were hanging down there a lot. I'm pretty sure they're not alive. They were hanging down there. They were showing us how to make prison food with ramen and making chichi and stuff. And I'm like, what am I doing? Hey, I'm just going to run to the calf, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. So. I got fourth meal still. If I make to the calf by 11, I can, I can make my own chicken farm. I would take the chicken fingers, a little bit of the pasta sauce, slice of American cheese, at the, and then with like three sodas and two Gatorades. Good night. <laughs> That's trash. Love the cafeteria. You know what I wanted to ask you? Speaking of food, what's that? Um, you 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 briefly mentioned that uh, around the around Easter. Yeah. All right. I'm listening. That you go down to the shore with the family. Yes. But what was your? Because you were such a weird kid. I'm a weird guy. What was your Easter? What of it? What was your Easter basket situation? Was there an egg hunt? Egg what hunt? was the lineup? Um, the lineup, I would open. My mom would middle. <laughs> <laughs> my brother would close it out with a and a With a strip show. Uh, um, uh, it was pretty standard. Standard for sure. Because my brother and sister were normal. I was the weird guy. I could see you being a real prick about your basket. I don't like uh, these. Yeah, I mean, the peeps could kick Just rocks. Cough drops and Hard boiled eggs. No way. Give me like the the regs chocolate kind of stuff. Yeah, Yo, you wouldn't die. Jelly your... beans can kick rocks. Really? Digging at the bottom, the grass is all in there. No thanks. You're nuts. I didn't I don't like anything loose. Give me something in a package. <laughs> I can open with an airtight seal and I can squeeze it to make sure the air doesn't come Singing out. Sing some scratchers. Yeah. Um then we did uh Hold on, you're not a hard boiled egg guy. Mm-mm. You wouldn't eat a dyed egg. No. Oh, we used to make egg salad. Fucking we used to make them. egg salad no. with those. I don't I don't think like I've a ever, week later. I've never had egg salad. Really? Uh, never tuna salad, chicken salad. I don't like anything cold. <laughs> I'm a weird man. What do you want from me? Um, you should be wearing those headphones all the time. <laughs> With that jacket on, dude. It does look like you're listening to the game right now. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't mention potato salad to him or he'll freak the fuck out. Uh, really taking it on the chin today, boys. Um... I, uh, this is, uh, so we did have a, a, a hunt, you know, we would do like the plastic egg where you would sure. put like the jelly bean, a dollar, a quarter, whatever. Sometimes a, sometimes a, a, a dub would be in there. Well, this is one or two of them trashy. We are. I remember, um, my stepdad wrote a hundred dollar, like, you know, dollar sign 100 on it. And I owe you no, but then super glued it shut. And I couldn't, I was like six. I didn't even know what super glue was, you know what I mean? Let alone that, like, he could be pulling the wool over my eyes just to fucking have him laughing. Keep you busy for a couple of minutes Oh, in the yard. dude, I'm sitting there fucking, I'm like, it won't come off. I'm fucking, I'm like calling a lawyer. Dude. He I'm hit it right everything. behind a wasp nest. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the roof. Uh, yeah, man, I remember, like, I remember being so fucking pissed. And, he was, and then there was nothing in there. I got fucking stiffed on the hundo. Yeah, real fucking... I'll never forget that. You I'm know gonna... what the Easter MVP is? What? That Reese's egg, dude. That was our right. Cadbury eggs can kick rocks just because the commercials freaked me out with that goddamn bunny. I love them, and that was one of my. They're one of my favorite. You get a fresh one of those. Fresh, yeah, like when Out recently the oven? <laughs> recently made. They're fantastic. There's a lot of candy like that. That's a lot. It's a lot of candy. The situation is one was it made. Some of that shit could be could be a year or two old. 
That's why you do get the holiday stuff because it's usually fresher. Okay. I mean, it's uh, how fresh. You, you can don't taste know. The, You're assuming. You can taste the difference. What if I told you it was made eight months before? Because I used to work at a chocolate factory. Yeah. And that to lead, to, yeah, that lead, to, yeah, T-Bone's looking at me. Somebody goes, how many jobs has Gippy had? <laughs> it's a lot. Um, you like the guy in Quantum Leap. <laughs> never seen it. <laughs> no, I worked, I spent a lot of time in a chocolate factory. So what's this have to do with my, th- uh, listen. It doesn't come right, it, it doesn't fucking come off the line into a truck to the CVS for you to eat. I'm no, aware of that. It comes off the line straight into Foley's fat face. Yeah, I'm <laughs> You're sitting there, like that little Swedish boy from Willy Wonka. I'm squeezing them like bread. <laughs> Dude, they sit in boxes and warehouses for like two years. I know. So I'm saying the ones. So, so you're the, telling me you can tell the difference between a Cadbury egg that was made two three years, years ago and eight years ago? 100%. How about two years and three years? Well, it's, you said it's not fresher. Anything that's I two years is. old isn't fresh. Well, I mean, comparatively, you made, it, you made it seem like you were waiting at the kitchen door, like the, you know, they were coming out with them. Comparatively speaking, I would say you, you, you can taste that difference. Okay. And they're usually the ones that are the holiday ones. They think they make, figure they make those less. Hi, you work for Bud Light. You tell me. You know. Yeah. Shit sits, shit sits on a shelf for a long time. I can't believe that that's used. I'm stunned look. that you're wearing a jacket that has somebody else's blood on it. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to make... I uh, think it was a crime? <laughs> There's a bullet hole in the back. <laughs> a couple of stab wounds. I got to get patched up. A little road rage incident. <laughs> he won't be needing this where he's going. <laughs> it was a bad call. What do you want? Um... Uh, yeah, I got a handful of really old, vin- like, proper vintage ones. Some of them didn't hold up. I got to return them or sell them or give them to a listener if you would like. I got a couple hit me up. Some are just there you go. too small or too big, you know. The sizes back in the 70s were all fucking all over the place. Holler at your boy, dude. I'll rock one. Oh, really? no, no, no. I like that idea. Yeah, you got to give one to Toby. Then when we get in fights with each other, we can kick dirt on each other's shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you fucking blind, T-Bone? You call that a clip? You call that a clip? Kippy gets thrown out of the studio. <laughs> Hit the showers, T-Bone. You're off your meds. Just sitting there doing the show. Big thing of Gatorade comes flying at me. <laughs> Bunch of sunflower seeds are kicked everywhere. Ooh. Um, and what would what would the meal be on Easter? Again, um, as we got older. We've touched on this briefly. Yeah, so we go. So now we go down to the shore. Uh, we go to Wildwood, uh, and then Saturday we go to my aunt's in Sea Isle, which you've been to. Yes, I have. Uh, shout out Aunt Patty. Shout out Aunt Patty. She, Lovely home. Uh, we'll do ham. We'll do meatball. Like we'll do the crock pot with like meatballs, sausage, kielbasa. Okay, okay, uh, I'm listening. Typically, you know, uh, kielbasa is done on the grill in Wildwood the day of. And then brought over. Yeah, I mean, it's 15 minutes or whatever. Love it. Um, Serve it cold? The kielbasa? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can't recall. I I stay around the the sausage and meatballs. That's where I lie. And then you got, like, the rolls, the pre-sliced rolls sitting there. I know. A plate of fucking provolone and American cheese. Sure, a little parm. And it starts sweating after a couple hours. Yeah. Do that up. Ham's definitely floating around. Then you got the fucking dips. You got the, you know. The whole nine. We did ham. Scal- a lot of booze, too. We use it as a boozing. It's a boozing holiday Of course, for us. we're having a cocktail. It's yeah, the Lord's yeah, Day. Yeah. A couple Bloody, bloody Marys. Mm-hmm. What's going on? Say that three times in front of the mirror when you're all fucked up. Scallop potatoes Turn into the was Easter big. Bunny. <laughs> Scallop potatoes was big. Mm. And we would do a pineapple upside Are you, down Is this a cake. dinner? This, this, is, this is a formal dinner. Coleslaw. We don't do a sit down. Ours is more of a stand. There's, so many, there's just too many people. It's like a buffet. There's only so many lawn chairs, you know what I mean? I know, yeah. <laughs> oh, so many of those brown metal folding chairs. Those get broken out. Our family's just too big. Every event is minimum 30 adults and, <clears throat> at this point, 30 kids. So it's like chaos. The guys are in the, on the back deck hanging out. There's typically some golf going on downstairs in the TV room. Aren't the Masters always on Easter? Uh, We're a big golf family, so they're kind of nice. coming up. Tigers here, Mickelson's here, fucking whatever. A lot of new short sleeve button downs getting broken out. Yeah, a lot of plaid new pants, a lot of spring. Yeah, 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 for sure. I like that. Uh huh. Pretty, pretty classy. Good. Pretty good. Pretty all right. 
Good shit. Always dip, dipping away for a couple of heaters with the with the boys. Sneaking out, coming yeah. back, smelling now like all the, and Sauvignon Blanc. All the all the all the cousins, like the cousins of my age, who all crank heater, who crank Bernies, they all have like seven, eight year old kids running around. So they got to duck around. We got to go around the corner or duck behind a car because they don't want their kids knowing they're they're fucking dabbling in the. Let me ask you this: Do you have any? Tabacky. Do you have anybody in the generation below you that has aged into heaters? Have you witnessed that? Last time you saw him, he was sixteen. Now he's twenty. He's smoking. No, I think the oldest one of the generation below me is probably 19. I mean, they're definitely boozing. Just dipping. Just dipping <laughs> on the weekend. He's a weekend warrior. Uh, I'm sure they Nine do. Nine-year-old with a lip. I, I, know, I mean, I know some of the teenagers are definitely boozing and mm. stuff like that. Yeah. Because they disappear like we used to. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're going to run back over to the house. We forgot the whatever. A lot of errands. Yeah. A lot of errands. And uh, there's always party. six White Claws missing. I don't yeah. know what's happening. Nine kids going to get a bag of ice. Yeah. Come on. We know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Save a toke for Uncle Hank. Huh? <clears throat> Kip, let's talk about movement. Movement. Talk about movement. Talk about two young college dropouts trying to turn the watch game upside down. And that's exactly what they did with movement. I'm a big watch guy. I know that. Movement makes nice pieces mm-hmm. at a fraction of the cost. Fair prices. Fair prices. Unexpected colors. Unexpected colors. Now they're in the sunglasses. You go over to their website. They got everything you need. Top quality looking stuff at a good rate. Yes. Movement watches uh, have the look and quality of a $400 to $500 watch. You're paying watch you you're paying for at a department store but a fraction of the cost of the price because they were able, they were built online and use their own process from start to finish no middle man going right that is so always uh they also have the blue light glasses they were nice enough to send us watches and glasses yep my lady loves loves the blue light she's at the computer all day working yep uh the ever scroll blue light filtering glasses are a game changer it really helps with eye strain and poor sleeping patterns uh in a modern style frame if mm. you want to elevate your look with that style that doesn't break the bank, then join Movement and get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to MVMT.com slash garbage. Again, that's MVMT.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Gang, let's talk about Butcher Box. Butcher Box. Let's talk about Butcher Box. Let's talk about a meat f- or a freezer full of meat. Mm-hmm. Salmon, wild caught, Got, okay. organic, turkey, sure. chicken. <laughs> Ground beef, yeah. Ground beef coming. Hey, speed at, bumps, pick it up. Ground beef coming out of your ears. Over there. <laughs> I know. Just made a nice rigatoni with some quinoa pasta Ooh. the other night. Delicious. Love Butcher Box. They're fantastic. Uh, like you said, they were nice enough. They sent us a freezer full of stuff, whatever Literally. you need, from A to Z. Uh, it's uh, high quality meat, better taste, more ethical, more sustainable. The mm. whole nine yards. Mm. No any be no antibiotics. Nope. No hormones. Nope. Each box contains 8 to 14 pounds of meat, depending on the box you choose. That's enough for 24 individual meals, packed fresh, shipped frozen, for convenience, so you can save time uh, and energy on your next grocery store trip. Customize mm-hmm. your own box or go with the ones they got already. Either there way, you you're getting exactly what you want. Yeah. This this is this is bonkos. This Strap is nuts. in. This is crazy. This is your chance to never have to shop for ground beef again. This is how are they staying in business. That's right, folks. Butcher Box is giving new members free ground beef for life. And it's the good stuff. Yeah. It's the good meat. It comes the in little a square. Deep red color. Uh-huh. Good fat marbleization throughout the ground beef. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Plus, you get a ten dollar off coupon. Sign up at Butcher. Butcherbox.com slash AYG and get uh, two pounds of ground beef free in every order for the life of your membership plus a $10 off coupon. Log on to Butcherbox.com slash AYG to claim this deal. Do it. That was always that was always like the bitch work of a party in, in down the shore because CIL, but we used it as our advantage to catch heaters because parking <laughs> spots are big down there too. So you got to take the bike everywhere, which you don't mind because it adds to the trip more heaters. You Plus, know. you got the kids, you got the gang with you, you got yeah. the squad. Everybody rolls out, a couple of Bernies. Good stuff. It's a good time. We had this one cookie that was big. It was a, it was like every family got one. Sounds like a hell of a dinner. <laughs> no. It was like a big shortbread cookie with a hard-boiled egg in the center. What? It was some kind of Italian thing. They're pretty good, though. I don't know. T-Bone, you looking that up? We don't it, really mess Italian with the Italian Easter cookie with egg in the middle. Sicilian cuttera. Italian Easter cookie. There you go. This is the worst thing that's ever been made. I'm telling you, they're fucking delicious. It's like an awesome shortbread cookie. With an egg in it? Yeah, the hard... eat the egg? 
I don't know if you're supposed to. I did. <laughs> that wasn't even cooked, Henry. <laughs> I mean, they they really hit gold with pasta, but they fucking missed on this one. Dude. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's good. I know in Puerto Rico they give the kids little chicks, little little baby chickens. We did that. Easter. No, you didn't. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You told me we that. We did that with chicks and ducks. Somebody would go down there and get one. Um. Yeah, my. You'd go to like a poultry place in North Philly, wouldn't you? No, we would go save them from the slaughter. No, it was like Davis Feed Mill or something out in like the. So we live in the burbs, but like right above, like it's like all suburban, but right above us is like kind of country or not country, but like more far, more rural. Now it was back when we were kids. Now it's all developed. But there was like a feed mill. Place. I should get a baby duck. That'd be awesome. What yeah. would you do with it? Would they grow up? Would you give them away? The chick died the first night. He what? tried getting out and broke his neck. Made hell of an omelet, though. That sounds like Epstein. He has <laughs> yeah, weird. The all the cameras, cameras were off. Yeah. <laughs> Two guys decided to take lunch at the same time. Yeah, weird. Yeah, I've never had a pet that broke its neck. Well, it was. Jesus Christ, Kevin. Oh, we didn't know. Yeah, I don't know. It died. It was too probably too young for us to have it. You we broke didn't... its neck, psycho. No, I didn't. Relax. We didn't know what we were doing with it. <laughs> I mean, we put it in like a we put it in a fish tank. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing with it. I think, it, you know, put it in a cool whip thing. In yeah, the fridge. called it a day. I, uh, and then the ducks we kept for a while. Then they got too big. Where did they? What, what do you we mean? put them in a pond. Where did where did you? Keep we had chicken. The... We had a chicken wire in the backyard. This is in the spring. I guess that's crazy. You had ducks. Yeah. Who? What would you feed them? I don't know. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of Mike and I don't ducks need water. Like, don't they have to live in? Did you have like a baby pool or something out there? Don't act like this isn't. I'm trying. Like, like to I'm, th- I'm being insane with this line of questioning. I'm trying to remember. I know you're 12 years. I don't know you kept ducks. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Sitting with LL Bean over here. <laughs> I didn't know that. Ralph Lauren. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Like a Jay Peterman. <laughs> yeah, we had ducks. I think I told you. And then we we at some point they got too big and a little violent. If you ask me for my taste. Ah. <laughs> uh... Heard loud music coming from the backyard. <laughs> Out there smoking and drinking all people hours. Stop, people stopping by and all couple, hours. There's a couple of carjackings. We couldn't pin it on them, but <laughs> um, my radio was missing. Uh, <laughs> no, we yeah. Then we at some point they were in a pen in the backyard. I'm assuming there was some sort of water source for them. Yeah, for sure. But then I think my mom. I don't know why she was like, "This is nuts." Yeah, Let's that's get rid nuts. Of them. Well, so my sister and all. It, it, it's crazy to have a duck, let alone multiple ducks. Yeah, that's that's what's throwing me off. Yeah, and the chicken mysteriously dies the first night. <laughs> None of the ducks died, huh? Uh, no. But then we, we took them to a pond with. So my sister and all her friends got. Them. I think we mentioned this. My sister and all of her friends got them this, for Easter. That was like what they were doing. I don't find they were like a nickel. So they all got them thinking it'd be cute. And then Your sister in law? My sister. Okay. And then at some point they all got too big and everybody, all the parents were like, This is you have fucking wild birds at the house. Maybe this is crazy. Tell me this, but that's nuts. So we all put them in a somebody had a pond in their like their backyard, like a forest. Okay. And they were like, Oh, just put them in here. And we did that. And then we went and visited them and I got attacked by one. It bit me in the back <laughs> of the leg. I ran. Do you ever see those videos with the bird chasing the kid? That happened to me. This fucking, this thing came beeline. He could smell the fear or the pee in my face. He was pants. holding a two foot hoagie at the time, though. <laughs> oh, no way. He dropped the hoagie. In my, in my head, he had an apron covered in chocolate from the factory. <laughs> could be. You have real food taken by animals vibes as a kid. <laughs> you really do, man. You, you, you 100% man. that. And you dropping your shit and running like a bitch. Oh, I run. I still run from birds. I'll hit the deck. <laughs> I don't fuck with them, man. I really don't. Throw your funnel cake and beat it. <laughs> it's never what they want, though. <laughs> Seagull with a mouthful of cheese fries and a little fat, angry Gippy screaming yeah. on the boardwalk. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah, that's good stuff. Yeah. What do you want from me, all right? Nothing. <laughs> all right, let's get into some cues. Oh, shit. You're right. Do a couple of cuesies here. As you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon, you get your question read right on the air. On the air. On the air. Um. All right, this is uh, this is from Mike. Uh, have you ever patted and pet your dashboard like a dog and said, it's okay, girl, you got this? I talk to my, <laughs> talk to my car all the time. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, my car is alive. Mm-hmm. Especially this one. I have a very, very strong connection with it. Yeah. Also crazy. I think he's more respond more referring to a car that's in bad shape. 
Oh, okay. Where you're like, you got to coax it into... Because my Chevy Lumina, 96 Chevy Lumina... Oh, yeah, you got to... Yeah, when you're, you got to finesse her. Well, she, it starts, the second, on, on, I think the on. second gear was a little wonky. So you had to blast through it right to third. No if reverse. that makes sense. Um, growing up, there was this kid that didn't have reverse, and he drove a conversion van to school. Like, it's what he drove. And he just had to... Con- he, there was no, I swear to God, there was no reverse in it. So he just kind of had to constantly loop around and look for parking spots that he could pull out of. What if somebody pulls it ahead of you? You're screwed. Well, like, no, he would pull front into a spot that he could then, like, pull out of. Or he would, he'd have to park it on the street. He couldn't park it in the driveway because <laughs> he couldn't get out. Ah, that kid definitely worked on the weekends, didn't uh, he? <laughs> I think the weekday, I think he was working before school, too. <laughs> he, was, he was going in and opening up the shop. <laughs> Look at Larry Bird out there. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, also, don't think he's alive. I could be wrong, though. Um, man. The kids I grew up with <coughs> drop like flies. There was a, Most of them made it through high school, but then once we got into our 20s, things got real fucking hairy. I don't know if it's the jacket, but you're a real ray of sunshine today. With that. <laughs> you mentioned the EOD. <laughs> I didn't say EOD. <laughs> I said he's no longer with us. Yeah, you didn't. It was blood. <laughs> yeah, come on. Read between the lines. Hey, it wasn't septus, I can tell you that. Uh, <laughs> or septus. It wasn't a parachuting accident. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't on his speedboat, okay? <laughs> Speedball, maybe. Yeah, exactly. A couple of highballs. <laughs> Hot shots. The autopsy was waived. Uh, I used to have to do it with my Chevy Lumina up hills because I think it was from second to third. Second was shot. So you kind of really, ha- and if you came off the gas before you got to third gear, it, like it would just, the engine would rev and you wouldn't really accelerate. So going up hills, I really had to be like two or three steps ahead to be like, all right, baby, we got to fucking. Blasting it yeah, up. Yeah, we got we to gotta fucking start getting some momentum here, daddy Oh, <laughs> Let's get up the top of this hill. Everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, nah, trust me, this is actually and Well, everybody, yeah, everybody knew at that point, and it was a car nobody could drive because she had certain, you know, you had to know her. I've never started a car confidently, I don't think. I'm always expecting it to not start. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, this is the first car. The key is the first new car I have, so I have no fucking. Just turning and burning. No sweat on that, but the Montego, that thing. Laddie that had, was a roll of the dice at all times. Laddie had a little thing the other day. She's been, were you with me at one point in that? Yeah, she your was, starter or something's going on. Yeah, you're with me. That's, that's, she didn't start. Panic. Yeah, you're like, this happens sometimes. It's been happening. It's turning volume I'll up. tell you why. What? I'm all for the, the, the green energy and moving forward. It's that goddamn fucking button that you that it's it's the that it kills everything when you're at a stop sign. Yeah, you hate that. I fucking hate that. Where they, where you're idling, it shuts down. It shuts and then down, and then you, that's got to do something bad to the car. Don't you, then why would the car manufacturer? I'm not saying you're wrong, but like I turn it off. Okay, that's fine. push the button to turn it off. But I think that's what it is. It's what it feels like it is. And something, this is from your professional opinion. Yes. Okay, just checking. <laughs> from my many years, of yeah, 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 being a fat piece of shit. Uh huh. Okay, well, Which I am. I didn't say that. And I, and I, I don't think that. I've made one fat joke thus far. It's pretty good. I think I did call you fat in the <laughs> intro. But I was taking a lot well, of heat for the You got car buddy. Fire away. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm, I'm still shaking off my T-bone guilt. Um, all right. This one's from Jimmy Dean. Ever own a product advertised by Billy Mays? <laughs> oh, we got Flex Seal right now. That wasn't Billy Mays. Sure it was. Flex Seal was Billy Mays? Didn't I thought he? it was that old other guy. I think. Who did the boat. No, nah, that's Billy. That, that was Billy. one of Bill, Billy Mays' cornerstones, I thought. <laughs> He made his bones with OxyClean, uh, which I used this morning to clean my Nikes. Really? Yeah, that my wife ruined. Billy That's... Mays did not do, I don't see Flex Seal, but I do see Damn. Flex Tape. Oh, he did flex... flex Tape. He did Flex Tape. Was Flex Tape first, maybe? Maybe. He also did Mighty Putty. He's got his fingers in a lot of pies, that Billy Mays. Yeah. Yeah. Guy can move some fucking units. Yeah, his fingers in a bag of Yak Yak, too, apparently. No, no. Wasn't it something he got hit in the head with like, his head on a luggage thing? or Like, luggage fell and hit his head or something. Really? I think on a plane at landing. I could be making all of this I up. I thought he was knee-deep in an eight ball. No. Might have to cut that. That beard, too, man. That beard was solid. <sighs> Dude, He like, that was just for men. He had it. That, whatever yeah. it was, whatever those guys need, that guy fucking had it. Well, you know what they do? They make their bones in the fucking We've talked about, at the yeah. trade shows. Which step you've right also, up, step, which, 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 which I've also done. 
Step right up. Step right in. Back when I was running train shows out of the <laughs> Valley Forge Convention. I was in Valley Forge. I was in AC. I was in Delaware. I was in... I was in Jersey at a, at a. They turned a hockey rink into one. And I, was I would like you to write corner. down all your jobs for an <laughs> okay, episode. Okay. Okay. Write down everything that you've ever done. We'll okay. do it. We'll do so, it in the next bonus. So we can have a master list. Okay. In case you start getting lippy. <laughs> what are you gonna send me back to Santo Palato? <laughs> Talk about the time you were a fishing boat captain. <laughs> I never said ca- I was first mate. Uh, Billy Mays did not die in a cartoonish plane incident. He did, however, pass away from a heart attack in his sleep, going to bed at his Tampa condo. Uh Look up what happened to him the day before. Okay. There was something with an airplane and luggage fell on his head. I don't know if they ever connected those two, if there was foul play. (laughs) (laughs) Same guy did (laughs) did your little chickling. Uh, Oh, he was coked up. Was he? Thank you. Wow. Not, I don't mean to discredit the, or to talk hey, ill of the man. More, yeah, but know. to be fair, if you die in a Tampa condo at 50 and drugs aren't involved. <laughs> that's a bad loss. That's a new story. Yeah. <laughs> Local guy passes away. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> what biker gang got him? <laughs> nah, just old age crap up. Really? <laughs> Cocaine was involved. And they found it in the autopsy, yeah. Ooh. Damn. Yikes. Well. You win some, you lose some. Those autopsies don't keep their mouth shut, do they? Should have used some of that flex putty. They rat you out. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's no lying to him. Yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not around to spin it afterwards. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, no. You got to take whatever narrative is thrown at you. Yeah. You, you and your estate. I'm going to do several pre-taped spin zones of, of how I might possibly die so I can I, I can play when I'm dead. <laughs> Put, like, pop it in the VCR. It was my friends! <laughs> yeah, I was holding it in my nose for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> that would be what you leave me in your will. What? Clips to subtitle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, can you subtitle this for me, T-Bone? Would you want to be the guy that got that for anybody? What? Like like, like if I went, if you, if you had to go sit with the, the estate guy and there was some nefarious things, here's a tape that you have to... To burn, or here's here, here's here's what he wants like you to put Like an envelope or something of your dying last wish. Yeah. Uh, no, but it, it would sh- for sure be me. It would be left to me to f- still clean up your mess after you're fucking dead and gone. I gotta fix your mistake. I also got laundry at the laundry mat. Yeah. <laughs> you're somehow somehow giving me attitude in a letter. <laughs> hey, what's up, Baldy? Probably wearing one of those dumb jackets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dickhead! I got two Amazon packages coming later today. <laughs> Don't Bring open them. them. <laughs> Just leave them at the gravesite. <laughs> Bring them upstairs because my neighbor's a little handsy. Oh, oh man. When you stuff. go, I'm going to have to deal with so much shit. You don't know that for sure. The longer you get out of me, I think the better it's going to be. <laughs> Buddy, it's not. If it happens happen. in the next six months, yeah, you're going to have a lot I of got that. a lot of cleanup. A lot of cleanup. Our social security numbers are tied together in this goddamn business. I'm fucked. <laughs> it's like that DNA video in Jurassic Park. <laughs> mix it together. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Oh, man. Dude, also, if you go, the fucking Foley's are going to be coming out of the woodwork to wet Woo! their feet. <laughs> Not to mention the tell-all book. <laughs> it's already written. <laughs> Trashing the shit out of you. I hear Kippy doesn't even drink. He just wears those jackets. <laughs> Oh yeah, you probably you're probably gonna have all print out of our text and shit. Me fucking voice recordings of me screaming at you. <laughs> Do you have a will? Also, this just in: <laughs> we set the date on the Patreon. We're gonna have a financial advisor come mm. sit down with us and yes. go over our finances and get us on where track. we need on track to a road to you know sound financial planning. Yes, planning for retirement. Yes, investments. Hundred percent. Bull market investments. Uh, yeah, like what you like should. Like vending machines? <laughs> the laundromats. <laughs> you said that one time. You're like, we could open up a laundromat. And someone's like, his thought process That's good business. of success is opening. It's- hey, I knew a couple guys that own laundromats in my hometown. They did pretty Guy good. Guy on my block. Right? Killed Growing it. up. Make your own hours. We had uh, retail's tough. Retail's tough, though. You, you can't trust everybody. You got to be there. You can't trust anyone. Okay. Everybody steals from you in retail. Especially cash business like a laundromat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, how many, you know, how many fucking... Just listen to their pockets on the way out. <laughs> ding, ding. 
Hey, Barry, can I talk to you for a minute? Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post Box of Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Bespoke Post Box of Awesome will make you 10 degrees cooler. Easy. Easy. Springtime. Mm-hmm. What do you think's coming in it around springtime? Ooh. Cool spring stuff. Yeah. Pocket nice outdoor stuff. Stuff for the bar. It's going to be party stuff season. Stuff to barbecue with. Grooming materials. Yeah. Smelling fresh, looking fresh, feeling fresh. Box of Awesome. From our good friends at Bespoke Post, you got to get on it. I'm yeah, to get started, you. just take the bot, just take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you. There you go. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. Each box is valued at around seventy bucks, but it doesn't cost that. Does fraction it? Fraction of the price you get it for. Fraction. Good, good guys over and gals over there. Love a fraction of the price. Uh, plus, with Box of Awesome, you're supporting small business. Ninety percent of everything that comes from Box of Awesome is from a small up and coming brand. It's free to sign up. You skip a month at any time or cancel. Whatever you want to do, get twenty percent off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the code garbage at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code garbage for twenty percent off your first box. One more time, write it down. Boxofawesome.com. Code garbage. Do it. Athletic Greens. AG1. Let me tell you why I started taking Athletic Greens. Why is that? One, as we know, I'm a portly gentleman. Sure. It was time to get my health in check. Mm -hmm. I started working out. Yeah. I noticed when I was going to the gym and working out, I was still feeling a little bit tired. Mm -hmm. Even when I just drank water or whatever, I tried to stay hydrated. Switched over to Athletic Greens. They sent us they sent us a bunch. You're like Popeye. I used it for a month. Throw it in there real easy. Shake it up. Tastes great. One stop shop. Vitamins, endurance, immunity. Gut health, the whole nine yards. I noticed a specific difference when I drink Athletic Greens throughout my workout that I feel better and I last longer. Yes, 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. Not in the bedroom. Take that to the bank. Yeah. Uh, It's uh, lifestyle-friendly, whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free. Contains less than one gram of sugies. Yep. Uh, No nasty chemicals, no artificial flavor. I still tasting good. If the big man likes it, it. you know it tastes good. What are we doing? Let's go. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. Swimsuit season's coming. Just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills. Hey, did I take this? Did I take that? AG1's got you covered. Just one-stop shop to make it easy. Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune boost. No. Uh, immune, immune boosting vitamin D and five free travel packs for your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash garbage to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate Daily nutritional insurance. Back to the show. Back to the show. But he, I was, I remember they had like a really nice house. We had, our house was nice, but like very basic. You've been, it's just like, you know, mm-hmm. they had like the land. Your house is like a doll's house. Yeah, it's pretty generic. If you hadn't played with your dolls in like five years. Yeah. Um, there is, they had, like, the landscape. They had, like, the street lamp, like, out front. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like, at the beginning of their driveway, they had, like, a big brick the mailbox. The little touches. Everything done real well. And I remember going to ask my dad, I go, what the? F-? I was, like, eight. I'm like, what the fuck does this guy do? You know what I mean? Because we were real big about figuring out money and what's that guy do, what's this guy do? I go, what's he Bunch do? of little dirt balls in the back of the yeah. car. And he's, like, long. Well, when you grow up, like, my dad owned a business, so... When, like that was his life twenty four seven. So it's like right. everything revolves around that business. That business is your life. You know. Of what course. I mean? So it's like you're in the car taking call. Like you know, I'm, we were going to job sites and shit. Drive around, look at commercial property, think if you want to buy it or not. No, we were never that far ahead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we were more looking at fucking vending machines and shit. But I was like, "What's he doing?" He goes, "Oh, he's a, he owns a couple of laundromats." And I was like. Pfft. There you go. Had a good looking lady with him. There you go. Yeah. I was like, this guy's fucking doing it. There you go. It was one of those Italian dudes wore like jean shorts out, like dress nice Probably to do yard work. Probably a second marriage for sure. No, no, no. Really? Dress nice to do yard work. You know what I mean? Like hair was done. Like nice. I'm like, this guy's fucking. Those guys that do their yard work, that's a different breed. They keep it looking real tight. Yeah. They do it all themselves. You we see do them ours, there. but it looks like shit. <laughs> it was my job and I didn't care. The only times I cut just the front yard to get my mom off my back, so our neighbors, she goes, we look like fucking bums. What are you doing? So I would just cut the front yard and go back to whatever party I was at. Cutting the grass at night is a tough look, too. Didn't even have to put your sandwich in the fridge. (laughs) (laughs) Just left it right there on the plate. Uh, Be back in 20. We had the oldest John Deere tractor, dude. This thing was fucking from nine. Uh, it's, he had a tractor, dickhead. That's I know, awesome. I know, I know. But a John Deere, too. Those we had they... to jump it every time to start it. Huh. We had to literally jump the tractor with one of the parked cars. And if, if everybody was gone. I didn't know from... you could do that. 
If everybody was gone, yeah, I was seven, jumping a fucking 1972 fucking John Deere tractor. The got seat the, was got all the rattler out there. Oh, dude, the seat was all fucking chipped away and shit. Just metal. Yeah, it was oh, bad. Fuck that. Uh, but that'll then we, sting you in the we summer. We had one of those jumper battery packs that just had like the two. That's pretty classy. But this is my life. Those hit in the nineties hard. Yes, this is this describes my classy versus trashy life. In my head, I'm like, oh, we have. We have this cool new piece of technology that can jump a car without another car, but we're using it to jump the old tractor every week. Yeah, usually the guys that had those never used them. They were just in the back of their Audis or something oh, like that. Oh, we used it all the time. I mean, yeah, I used it weekly. And then you'd have to charge that thing, and if that thing wasn't charged, it was a fucking, yeah, it was a lot. I felt like I was managing a fucking a, a mechanic shop. <laughs> Watching at TV off of one of those things. <laughs> Ooh. Um... All right, this one is from Casey. Uh, do you or anyone you know live by a code of honor? <laughs> is there anything? I have, I, I do have buddies like that where it's like, you don't fucking say this about my fam or like very weird guidelines where they, they try to live by. They think it's like, you know, they're, you know, they think they're like taking over the West. It's not Yellowstone. You know what I mean? It's like, buddy, relax. Code of honor. We're not plowing the stars or something. No. No. Yeah. Don't know anybody. Like, unless I don't know. I don't know if I have no, any. I don't know guys, if I have... guys that live by that tend to tell you, like, you won't disrespect my name, you know. Maybe I've heard, I don't know if I have any samurais in the family. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, no, I don't think any of us would subscribe to that. But you we, can call. You can say anything about any one of my like. I I'm so like. But we do we do all abide by like the certain unwritten rules of comedy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You have those like no kids either. What? Like hurting kids or making fun of kids or anything like that. Or I'll make fun of a kid. N- treating kids like adults ever. What? That might be my one thing. Treating kids like adults. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Like talking to an like like ye- not yelling at a kid, but like they're always considered kids, and you know they're always taken with a grain of salt. Not a grain of salt. Um, Handle with kid gloves. Yes, you're always nice to them. Like, you know, you would never, like, you know, like, reprimand somebody else's kid or anything like that. Does that make sense? I'm not articulating it well. No, I catch a kid slipping around me. I'm letting the little fucker know what time it is. Like, hey, man, don't do that. No, I'm going to punch him right in the (laughs) (laughs) Fucking leg drop this pussy. Yeah, then I don't know how the Hulk used to do. I don't know what I'm talking about. We have a very open parenting part. Like I said, my family's so big that all the kids, anybody can get. Any adult. No, your family's different. I meant like strange, like different stranger kids. Stranger, strange kids don't even exist in my eyes. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, outside kids, I don't. You know, I don't fuck. I don't pay attention to anybody. That's my thing. I've just seen adults talk to kids that they didn't know as if they were adults. Can you give me an example? I'm try- like, hey, do you have own Bitcoin or like, <laughs> or like, you know, I don't understand what you mean or like yelling at them. Like, yeah, yelling at them as if like, don't put your feet on the. Door, I don't, I don't know. Not even shit like that. Just like you know, like hey man, I was there. Like you know, if the kid like staggered in, in, in like a grocery store line or something like that. You know what I mean? I guess. Man, I'm not explaining it right. Yeah, like I know. just be. We've given you three minutes too, and you can't get there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's happening, big guy. <laughs> That's my only code. I'm nice to kids. That's my code. Okay, there you go. That's not a c- c- code. That and the Akuza. <laughs> I look over here in a black top, your black suit. <laughs> Two Uzis on the table. Uh, this one's just funny. This is the uh, Yakuza. That's what I think. That's the one I'd want to be in. If you had your choice, they're gentlemen, <clears throat> real classy, real quiet. Like they don't. They're not all. They're not all up in your face. Real. They just classy. surround you, and you're jammed up. Would real. that be what? 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 Uh, organized crime organization would you want to be in? Ooh. Italian mob. There's so much romance behind the Italian mob with all the movies and, you know, the 70s and 80s and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that would be fun, I guess. But what is it? You got the Italian mob. You got the Yakuza. I think I would definitely go Yakuza. That's Get to fun. live in Japan. I don't eat know. dinner real late. One of the cartels might be pretty fun, too. Ooh. 
but you really got to throw everything to the wind at the cartel. I don't have the heart for that. Yeah, no shit. I feel like the cartels. I would be like a second. Yeah, it's kind of you know. In a bathroom with a chainsaw, like fellas, it's moving a little fast. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) well, give him a noogie or something. Give him a wedgie. I would join those crooks down in Washington (laughs) D.C., the biggest (laughs) gang of them all. Senator McMullen. <laughs> hey, y'all just, doing it? Uh, you just bought 35 shares of an oil field in, you know, <laughs> Afghanistan. Oh, uh, wouldn't it suck if that was how we were? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a. There's no one. fun in that. Those guys are bozos. Yeah. The Yakuza gets nice tables at restaurants. I would join. Uh, I don't know, man. Like I said, I've been watching Yellowstone. That seems like a pretty fun life. Being Battle like, rustler. Being a ranch hand who dabble like. They, the code is the ranch is above everything. Uh huh. Right? People are trying to steal the land. People are trying to steal their cattle. This whole thing, and it's like they're. Convict. I don't get this show. Doesn't it take place now? Yeah. Who's muscling him out of his land? Big business. Can he just sue them? What's with all the gunfights? This is the Wild West. Things are different out there. I thought Dang. they were in Ohio. Or you look over. Like I'm that. on a horse. <laughs> Can't this guy get a cease and desist order? Do we need a to be, couple of them are filed. We don't, but we don't need to be torching each other's barns anymore. Uh, <laughs> you would think that. Yeah. But, well, you need to. You got to send a message somehow. <laughs> Lawyers take a long time. You know what doesn't? Molotov cocktail. <laughs> I mean, if you're plugging up somebody's stream to fucking dry them out, that's pretty medieval. That's chess, all right? <laughs> hey, they didn't build the casino there, did they? <laughs> How are you going to run a casino with no, with no water? Who the hell wants to go to that resort? A <laughs> couple sticks of dynamite make that make that creek make it left. You know what I mean? Did they do that on there? They did something with dynamite where they blew something up. Yeah. <laughs> they, re- just, they, they reworked a creek. And they couldn't build the resort there because who the hell wants to say to dry resort? You need a babbling brook. <laughs> You know what I mean? These yuppies coming in from L.A. I'm telling you, it's a good show. Check it out. That Kevin Costner, fucking, that, guy, that guy's got some chops. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. It's got all Kippy fired up. He had me cut the power Tuesdays with stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we start. I start. <laughs> I start going Yellowstone on other podcasts. <laughs> I brand T-Bone. <laughs> He's mine. He'll always wear the AYG mark. Just a trash can. <laughs> Uh, good times. We're having a good time. I'm having a good time. All right. <sighs> this has been a wacky one. Mm-hmm. Um, this one I'll divert to you. This is from Joseph. Uh, is it garbage to combine fast food with homemade food for dinner? Yeah. That's bad, right? I can't do that. I guess what would you do if you had like a Big Mac and like a side of, I don't know, mashed potatoes or something? The only th- I assume that would... the. I assume the entree, the the main dish, the protein would be from the would be from the fast food, right? I don't know. You have I I've known people that uh, like would make like a hamburger at home, but have fries left over from McDonald's and throw them in the oven and shit like that. Who the that. fuck has fries left over from McDonald? I don't. This is goes back to the I eat it all, or I eat till I can't eat it anymore. I eat it all unless I don't like it. That's what I I'm waited saying. tables. Who the fuck would take home a half a thing of fries? I waited tables with 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 a girl that used to mix and match different leftovers in a pan and, and do them up. The only thing my I, wife does that. The only thing I can do that with is Chinese food. I could take the fry if I have like fried rice left over, maybe some dumplings or something like that. I can throw. Got to be all the same country or something. I throw all the fried rice in the pan and throw the dumplings in there. Let them heat up and then a little hot sauce over the whole thing, make like a little bowl out of it. My wife will do. But that's it. My wife will do if we have like fucking. But if there's a half of a cold McDonald's hamburger in the refrigerator, I'm just going to house that. Yeah, I would argue well, you live in a world where there's not going to be a half of a fucking McDonald's hamburger in the fridge. The orders were getting pretty big towards the end there, so you'd be mistaken on that, okay. Senator. Okay, <laughs> my apologies. Sorry, moving on. Um, Sorry, I'm a little nervous. First time I sat there with Tony LaRussa. <laughs> <laughs> what? Come on. No idea who that is. <laughs> yeah. Should have said Tony Hawk or something. Maybe he would have got it. Huh? Hippie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Big man's back. Speaking of Foley dating himself, in the car he admitted to me that he's never seen the Mighty Ducks. Everyone bully him online. Whoa. I'm going to check it out, though. I'm going to check it out. Maybe tonight. I think it's playing down at the Paragon. (laughs) (laughs) 
cherry pop and some Switzers, please. Uh, yeah, it's a great film. I mean, also it's one of those things where like I was at the like I was at the age of the guy of the kids in the movie mm-hmm. playing hockey, which like is, it was like the most fucking. Which is what I was trying to explain to him in the car. Uh, was that I was 10 years older than that, so I looked at that stuff like stupid kitty shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It'd be weird. Red Dawn were... was my Mighty Ducks. Yeah. Soviet invasion, continent of the United States. And a crack commando insurgent force. It was like, seems like a lot of family fun. <laughs> Led by Matt Dillon and <laughs> C. Thomas Howell. I watched you pull a stormtrooper action figure out of your pocket to go through security at the airport, uh-huh. and you're talking to me about little kid shit? Well, the kid guns on him. What do you want me to do? <laughs> you got to check him. <laughs> Can't bring a phaser blaster on a commercial flight. What are you, nuts? <laughs> Relax. My lightsaber is <laughs> off, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I don't want anybody to get nervous. You're like the comic book guy from The Simpsons going through fucking security. <laughs> Probably will need 12 more seats, please. <laughs> please don't touch my super belt. <laughs> Dude, it's deactivated at the moment. That's funny. I just watched that episode the other day wow. where he returns the ultimate belt. And we were talking about in the car. He goes in the store. He's like, I like to return this quote unquote ultimate belt. And the guy goes, Do you have a receipt? Quote unquote, sir. <laughs> Is that the one where Bart has it, right? Does Bart have one? He takes it to school. And he takes it to school, and the, bull- and Nels- the bullies are chasing him. Yeah, and he's like, all- I'll lose him and puts the left turn signal on, but turned right. I'll never forget that. This is uh, him. He- he's going left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, they, ca- right. they catch him, though. Yeah, they get him. They, they always get him. <laughs> and then Homer gets beat up by their dads who look just like them. Um, hmm. all right, this one's just funny. This is from McLovin. Uh, is it garbage to start smoking after buying a Bernie sweatshirt? Yeah, I, I don't want to encourage. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. I don't want to encourage anybody to start smoking as I'm trying Have to quit. Have they never smoked? Who starts smoking in their, when they're an adult? That's crazy. Pretty cool dudes, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't suggest that to anybody. Of course not. Don't do that. Unless um, Philip Morris gets on board. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll push anything. <laughs> <laughs> Money That's talks. Marlboro Lights and AG1, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Money talks, baby. <laughs> Get me down in front of Congress. Um, all right, let's see here. This is good. This is from Brendan. Uh, hey, fellas, just joined the Patreon. No question, just this. The sound of a lighter tumbling in the dryer. <laughs> Dude. That's how you find them. That's, oh, man. You could, you I've been could busted hear that from that. three blocks away. That's got me busted oh, in That's high how school. you get knocked. Yeah. Think, think, think. What is that? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I swear I was just starting fires. <laughs> <laughs> I was just burning down the old mill. Yeah, that's what gets you knocked. Yeah. Um,. <laughs> this is all right. Let's do one or two more. Then we got a skiddies. Um, this is from Lando. Haven't had one read yet. Have you ever gotten out of your car to move a construction slash road close sign so that you can drive through? A buddy of mine did this and drove his car into wet cement. <laughs> that's a tough look. Oh, they freak out on you too. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and that's thousands of dollars in damage. Oh, unless you, you can probably get out- have to pay for them. As well, to redo that, I oh, Fuck presume. that. I'm backing the fuck out of there and it's coasting. I guess. But what if you're all, what if you're fucking if spinning you're hemmed wheels? up, they got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you got to get, well, you got to get the hose on that quick. You're, you're at their mercy unless you're close yeah, to home. Yeah, they're going to have to help you out. Yeah. That's tough. They do it. There's a guy who does, who blocks, uh, there's a, a homeless guy or, you know, a, one of the a street guy down in the village that blocks McDougal Street. Did you ever see that? No. Yeah. He blocks it so it's like yeah he has clients that'll come in. It's always like late at night, uh-huh. later at night on McDougal, like right in front of Ben's Pizza. Okay. okay, he'll take trash cans and block the street just because he doesn't want people passing. Ooh, yeah, that's he's in another crazy. He's on another planet, and he blocks. I thought you meant like he he like he like would save parking spots. No, for no, he blocks where you can't turn down. You can't go down McDougal Street at Ben's. There's like three city trash cans in the thing. And some people have gotten out to, like, you know, a couple of hot shots after a night out. They hop out, whatever. And, dude, he comes with the wrath and fury of hell. Really? Oh, what the fuck? Like, he's crazy. He's, 
speed's great. He's on another planet, this guy. He's blocking the street for, you know, to keep demons out or something. And when these, like, you know, these, like, finance bro hotshots don't know what it is, and they're like, ah, I'll get out. He comes from the wings, dude, like, fucking, like, out of the fucking, out of Ben's Pizza. It's and, like Jeepers Creepers. Yeah, fucking, he puts them in their place. All right, all right. They all hop in the back of an Uber. Because they're like, just go straight. Well, I'll move it. And they hop out. And he's like, no way, Jose. Oh, fuck that. I don't like that at all. We're having a block party with Xenu. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's, yeah, he's waiting for the rest of the party to show up, that guy. <laughs> Waiting for the comet to land. Mm-hmm. Um, this one's from Stormy. How long does it take to drain your drain? <sighs> At my parents' house? Our gosh, sink upstairs in the, the kitchen in, sink? In the bathroom. The bathroom's a tough one. Oh, my God. Yeah. It, you, it, for years, it was a nightmare. They had it, they got, they got it snaked. They've had it An snaked. Auger. Drano, this and that. I don't know what it was. Did you ever snake anything yourself? Of course, yeah. Oh. Snaked a couple of things. Snake and toilets. Is- go buy. Go go borrow the snake from Mister O'Donnell and come back over and. You do the hand. You do the hand one that you turn, or you got one of the mechanical Johns. That was the hand one. Was the one that he gave oh, us. I believe man, you're just dude. If you have to snake a toilet, you're just <laughs> knocking poop around at a high speed. That's all you're doing. Kippy but- used to be a toilet snake. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have to work the auger quite. a I bit. I worked there for three years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the sink upstairs was a tough look. Also, too, now it's all nice, but for a long time... I'm listening. We didn't have the stopper in our sink in the bathroom. You know the... Just a hole. Just a hole. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what happened That's to like it. That's like 1950s shit. Yeah. You can just see down No, there. it was supposed to be there. I know. But it got thrown out or something. Yeah, yeah, so the yeah, thing yeah. just went up and down like that. Nothing ever popped up. <sighs> That's real trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bathroom was pink at the time, too, and fully carpeted. <laughs> Damn. Like it was a huge window in the shower. Um, <laughs> was it glazed <laughs> over the glass at least? Or the neighbors could just see right in? You could just Did you see have in. drapes and blinds in your shower? Yeah, there was a little curtain there. Whoa. Look out, take a peek. But it was it's nice in like the fall when you're taking a hot shower and you have the window open. Feels real crisp. I'll give you that. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. I can get, behind, I get behind a nice breeze <laughs> when my when my when my little niblets are out. You're an outdoor shower guy. You're down you're down the shore, people. Uh huh. Did you see Jay Larson just built one? Our boy Jay Is Larson. Is that what he was doing? Built. I was wondering what he was doing out there. Shower. I messaged him like, God damn it, that ain't. Fun. He goes, What's better than outdoor showers? It ain't nothing. Also redid his dining room or whatever. It looks yeah. fucking fantastic. That guy, that, that guy Jay. You want to learn a little bit about class? Yeah. Coming from trash and becoming classy. Jay Larson. Check out Jay Larson's episode. I think he has two episodes, right? Yeah. Jay's got two episodes and fucking killer. Real sharp. Yeah, he knows how to do things real well. I like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Does his does his thing like that. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Um. But uh, my drain today, yesterday, I think my wife was like repotting a plant or something. And I think a lot of soil got in the, dude, I mean, it's fucking jammed up. And then like, you're like, you got the dogs fucking everywhere. So like, you don't have time to like, that got like pushed away for the day. So it was just kind of like, it slowly drained down. And then Mm -hmm. like, whatever was in there is like stuck on the side of the bowl. Fucking, and then I forgot to get Drano, which like. That stuff, can I say something about Drano and those products? That's one of the few things that works to it. I always thought it wouldn't work. Oh, and it they works. work fantastic. It's like, where's Billy I Mays think, with I that think shit? It, I think it's the worst chemicals in the world. Yeah, it's kind of like what we were talking about. Roundup. Roundup jammed a lot of people oh, up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That shit's going to come back, you know. Oh, it's already coming back. you got to think that's going into the waistline. Sure. The which, waistline? Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, yours. <laughs> Sanitary line, you should call it. If you want to be proper, you, what want, I to, had for you breakfast. want to pull a permit over here? The sanitary line. What I had for breakfast is none of your business. Um, And I think it's like uh, we use it all the time. In New York, you got to because all that plumbing is like stacked on top of each it's other. fucking 400 years uh, that's old. That's what I'm saying. So it's like you're dealing with problems. Don't problem. yell at me. Talk to City Hall. You're dickhead. dealing with problems from like fucking, you know. Yeah. Before the Declaration of Independence was signed. Before, Broads- Before Nicholas Cage saw the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Before broads could vote, yeah, I don't so, know what they were doing. We're jammed up at the moment. We always keep a li- we keep a big bottle, and then it's like dump a third or a half or a whatever. So we always got a little laying around. But I got fucking caught my pants down. Let me turn you on to this. They got crystals. I don't trust. Do that. you dump them in there? You you have to use cold water because if you use hot, it'll, it'll blow your bathroom up. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
It's like the rock in there. You got to be real careful. But you can hear them going oh, when you put like the that. water in there. I do Mm-mm. clean that out. No, it's like giving it a colonoscopy. It's fucking yeah. It's crazy water. how well that stuff works. I don't get it. it. Doesn't make sense how it works itself down. It's like a Jello shot. What the commercial with the clear little thing mm-hmm. going through? It works. It works. I gotta get you some that. dude with a beard took a shit in his sink. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what it looked like. Um, <laughs> Some guy who just shaved for the first time in 20 years <laughs> dropped a deuce down the drain. Uh, all right. This one's from Mulp. Haven't had one red yet. Ever had more than one antenna on your car? The cell phone, Johns. Yeah. The little black ones with the little squirrely ones. They were cool. When you saw that, that was a sign of, oh, shit. Yeah. My dad had one of those on his Jeep when he had the, he had the phone, the car phone that was like mounted Next to, like, this shifter. That had a cable. Yeah. Hello? Uh-huh. Yeah. Fucking bop, bop, bop. We had that. calling it an airstrike. My, my, uh, my stepdad had a huge white Suburban. This thing was, like, jacked up, big mud tires on it, CB radio, fucking. This thing had, it seemed at the time, like, 1,500 antennas on it. To where I'm like, there's not enough electronics in this thing to make up for the amount of antennas. I think he had those poles to, like, make sure that, like... How high it was or something. Like on a fishing boat? Yeah, like the outriggers. Yeah. He had shit. I don't I didn't fucking get. I just remember being like, what do you got going on in there? Here's the question. Say something from the (laughs) eighteen. Which I'm all about. I would love to have the eighteen van. I thought it was cool at the time. My mom hated this thing. (laughs) I thought it was like riding around in a fucking tank. Jumping over the back three seats. (laughs) This is like you know, he made doing rollouts at school. He made a third row before third rows were a thing. He got two captain's chairs from, like, another car. Really? Put them on a box and then drove. So this is before third row seating. Back this when couldn't it, have been safe. Like, we're talking about, like, a wood box? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't safe. No. No, 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 no. You're sitting there like Captain Kirk. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I, dude, you could get launched through the windshield at any. You could go hyperspeed at any time if he hit those brakes. <laughs> I've seemed to have dropped my roll. Uh, yeah, we'd cruise around there and listen to Bill Ingvall. Heavy. Here's your sign. Which, by the way, shout out to Bill Ingvall. <laughs> Bill Ingvall was great. Uh, did you know anybody that had the boomerang antenna? The V one. The limo stuff? <laughs> yeah. No. I don't think people had those reg- on reg- regular cars, did they? I Maybe. I knew a, a couple dude of that, caddies would have that. I knew a dude that had one. There was no TV in there. It was there a t- Tercel or something. Was that for the TV or was that for like aerodynamics? <laughs> was that the, the was that to reduce drag? It wasn't a spoiler. <laughs> I don't no, know. it was for a TV. Really? Yeah, this kid didn't have a TV in there though. You have no shit. It was real uh, Billy Mays Hayes or whatever his name was, Major League. <laughs> oh yeah. Remember when yeah, he had yeah, the yeah, VW yeah. Beetle with the Rolls Royce? Uh huh. <laughs> Shout out to Billy Mays Hayes. Okay, but you do like you you wouldn't have an antenna, but for sure like a little siren you can put on the roof. Who the fuck wouldn't want that? That was big. Yeah, we got. You got to get back to your police scanner after this. <laughs> yeah, keep really? tabs on the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get back to the stakeout. <laughs> you look like you have a badge on a chain, ready to bust out. Training day style. Yeah, these are all compliments. I don't know what you guys are going busting for. train hoppers down <laughs> at West Fourth. You Street. just said in four different ways. Kippy, you look really cool. That's how I took that. <laughs> Kippy, you look like a guy who would have that siren magnet. I got beer. I'm athletic. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I have a good paying job. Uh, some sort of authority, it sounds like. I got a car that's probably pretty sweet. <laughs> you just fucking made my week. I just bought four more of these. <laughs> All right. Let's boogie, baby. Let's wrap it up. Guys, come out to a road show. Come out to a show. Come see us. Get on the Patreon. We fucking love you to death. We appreciate you. I love you. I love you. And we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.